Owners in a Logan neighborhood are worried about a potential hazard overhead. As new specialist Andrew Adams found out, a group of big birds is raising concern about avian flu. In the middle of Logan, the great outdoors is never far. Oh, I, I just I, I love it. And it's always been a perk in this backyard. That's why I'm pretty much a hermit. Bruce Jorgensen says that was until some unexpected neighbors moved in. The trees were full of turkey vultures. Turkey vultures. And the next thing you know, you'll just see them start to circle in. Nearly three dozen of them. Seems like they have a hierarchy because one will fly in and another one will get out of the way. And, and it just so happens. They poop a lot. And that's been a pain. This year, it's a biohazard. That's where the story of these birds starts to go south. It was just a week ago Friday. Got a whiff of, of what smelled dead. And I looked over there, and there was the dead bird. Two dead birds left him suspecting one big problem. Bird flu epidemic was going on. And the tests confirmed it. Yeah. Jorgensen was told everywhere these critters drop could be a source of infection. The health department says, you know, let it dry. Then every few days, wash it down. At least you can disturb it, I guess, the better it is. Because turkey vultures are protected wildlife, the state says it can't remove them. And the advice on how to scare them away. Yeah, put up balloons. Hasn't exactly worked. You know, we learned with COVID how viruses change over time. Jorgensen is concerned and frustrated. My preferred option would be to euthanize them. But I don't know that you can come downtown Logan and start shooting them. What these turkey vultures have done to his backyard. Everywhere you look, there's poop stains. Has been downright foul. And everywhere that they sit, they contaminate. 